In today's video, I want to teach you a 5-minute scalping strategy that gives the most accurate buy-sell signals ever. Just make sure you watch this video until the end because you need to pay attention to all the points that I'm going to explain. Alright, as I said, this is a 5-minute scalping strategy. So here, we set the chart time frame on 5 minutes. This strategy can be used also on 1-minute time frame, but the accuracy may decrease a little bit because of higher noises on 1-minute time frame. This is the price chart of Euro to US dollar, but you can use this trading strategy on any other asset or market. The only requirement is trading volume and liquidity because we don't want to experience any unreal price gap or large spread between bid and ask prices that can damage our trade entry, stop loss and profit. In this strategy we have two indicators. The first one that we want to add is an indicator that is built based on machine learning algorithm. This one, Lorentzian classification, which is an editor specs indicator and written by JD Horty. Alright, this is the indicator and for our strategy we only need these buy sell signals. So we go to the settings of the indicator and here in the style tab we remove labels and also tables which we don't need them. This indicator is a very powerful and advanced indicator that is built based on machine learning algorithm. In case if you're interested to completely understand different components of this indicator and how to effectively interpret them for trading, I have a complete guide on this indicator. The link is also placed in the description and I recommend you to watch it later so you learn how to use this powerful indicator in trading. The next indicator that we want to add is sample neural network transformed RSI, this one which is written by Quantra AI. This indicator is also an advanced indicator which is an improved version of RSI and it's built based on sample neural network smoothing technique. This indicator is also a very powerful indicator that considerably performs better than the original RSI. I have a complete guide also on this indicator, the link is also in the description and you can watch it later and learn this advanced RSI which is built based on neural network technique. All right, our trading setup is complete now and let's see how we trade based on this five minute scalping strategy. First, let me remove the values in the status line of this indicator so we can better see the indicator in extreme levels. All right, this line and also this line are two standard deviation from the mean. Based on the statistical principles, 95% of data falls within two standard deviation from the mean with uh, more tendency of the data around the mean. So when RSI line reaches or goes goes beyond two standard deviation line, we have high probability for the momentum to slow down or the price reversing and having RSI back to the mean. So in this strategy, we wait for the times that RSI reaches to this line or this line. This is considered oversold and this is considered overbought. In this new version of RSI, we have RSI line in two forms, in the form of a line, which is this line, and also in the form of Heike Oshi candles, which is the excellent feature of this indicator because it will help us to track the momentum change with minimum amount of noises. When we have RSI in this level, I mean overbought, we wait for the candles to turn to purple. In this example, you can see that it turned to purple here and again it turned to blue shortly, which was because of high buying pressure, but still the RSI is an extreme level and again it turned to purple here. When Heiken Oshi candle is purple, in this indicator, if we get sell signal, we enter a short position. Please pay attention when Heiken Oshi candle turns to purple and going down up to time when we get the signal, there should be no change in Heike and Oshi candles. I mean, we shouldn't have any color changing anymore. So for short position signals, we wait for our RSI line to be in this level or beyond this level, it should be in blue color. And then when it changes to purple in this indicator, if we get sell signal, we can open a position with this condition that there is no change in Heike and Oshi candles. So based on this signal, we can enter a short position here at at this point when this new candle is opened with the stop loss above the previous swing high at this level and profit at the level that makes risk to reward ratio equals 2. This was the trading setup for opening a short position and on the other hand for opening a long position we wait for RSI to reaches or goes beyond this line which is considered oversold and then we wait for Heiken Oshi candle to turn to blue from purple and while there is no change in the color of Heiken Oshi candle when we get a buy signal from this indicator, we can enter a trade. So we can enter a long position here at this point when this new candle is opened. The stop loss below the previous swing low and the profit at risk to reward ratio of 2. Alright, here you can see that we have RSI out of this level and then Heiken Oshi candles turn to purple from blue. But when we get sell signal from this indicator, which is very late as you can see, Heiken Oshi candles are changed many times. So this signal is rejected. In this example, you can see 
that the market went flat and this indicator correctly didn't give us any short position signal around here where Heikenoshi candles were purple. So in times that RSI is in the middle part, based on our strategy, we don't care about any buy sell signals that are generated by the help of this indicator. We only wait for the times that RSI reaches to or goes beyond these levels and then we wait for the changing of color in Heikenoshi candle. In this example, because this is an oversold level, we wait for the Heikenoshi candle to turn to blue from purple and then in this indicator we wait for buy signal but this buy signal is rejected because Heikenoshi candles are already changed as I said when we get the signal there should be no change in the color of Heikenoshi we only take the signals if there is no change in Heikenoshi like here this strategy is extremely accurate but it's not a high frequency strategy I mean you don't get confirmed signals frequently by minimizing the risk as much as possible it tries to give the best signals with the highest probability of expected results but this doesn't mean it doesn't generate false signals no trading strategy is capable of this and you need to manage your risk properly there is a risk management strategy that is called one percent rule, and it's a perfect choice for short-term trading i have a complete guide on this the link is also placed in the description and i highly recommend you to watch it so you learn how you can manage your risk properly all right that's it thank you for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to ask and leave a comment for me i'll answer your questions as soon as possible if you haven't subscribe to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new video see you guys in next video and good luck with your trading